don't think it's fair what's happened to me. And the reason I say that is because when it's my life on the line and people don't even want to for people don't even want to see it as as such. How how is this person supposed to move? Given the circumstances, when it's like your your story has merit. Your story has merit. The things you're going through has merit. I just want to actually feel myself. Do you know what I mean? You don't know what I mean. <laughs> it's just through all these abuses, you don't you you feel so frayed up in your mind, trying to figure out like discovery, and in ways like you're the investigator because the police aren't doing shit. And the only thing that you're actually getting is snuffed. The only thing. Like, 50 ways to murder you, and then you come to find out years later where it's coming from, and then still nothing is being done. You see what I'm saying? And it's all because, and, and it's all because what I feel, anyway, what I feel is it's because, is because somebody is in cahoots somewhere that I'm not supposed to figure out before I die and I think I did figure it out and I think it goes really dark you guys because I, I can't really put it together but what I can say and suggest is just the fact that Child Protective Services had my name leaked to this Heinrich guy his Heinrich guy was protected because people were speaking out about him. And when I was bringing it up on my old Facebook account that he is being censored, no one pays attention to shit. No one, they have the attention span of a squirrel when it comes to this shit. They're just, they're, they're even more excited. Like, like, oh, I gotta run over here. I don't do this. I don't have, I don't want to partake with this stuff. No one wants to partake with it though. I'm not partaking with it. I'm 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 in it. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm in it because these people have targeted me. I was almost kidnapped three times as a kid. And then on top of it, ever since then, like ever since I, I, I was a kid and, and got away from that, then there's been other attacks before this happened and I was like seventeen when I felt when I think back to the first times that these things, these attacks started. And so if I'm being eradicated from my mind, how am I supposed to figure out a crime against me when even the police and the sea of all of the, all of the people don't, don't, don't see it for what it is? If they can't see it for what it is, how can I speak out? on it you see what I mean and then it's just it's really hard it's really hard to put into perspective because of the things that you're going through on a constant basis that like people just don't see or if they do see they choose to look away it's just so it's super sad because if the CDC can leak that information out to pedophiles who are targeting people like me to snatch me up out of my life regardless on whether or not they get me or not to look to, to, to just snuff me out you see what I mean that it's just a bold-faced move everywhere I go I'm under attack and then how can I get how can I get any any word in of edgewise if the if my own system is turned its back on me you see what I mean? Like, I could take this and throw it at the wall and they'll, they'll arrest me because I, I attacked the wall. You know, or whatever. It's like, it's the stupidest fucking thing that things that happen to me. But then, like, I'm coming out with a, an actual fucking murderous, intentuous crime over my entire life. And people just want to poo-poo on me. I don't know what to do. 
I'm left without anything because if I go if I go out and I get another chemical attack, I'm done. And so these people should be awfully ashamed of themselves to think that they could even get away with this crime over my life in general. God is not going to have it. And I don't see how this government can operate to have it either. Unless y'all are in cahoots. Which I think that's highly what's going on here. <laughs> and if you don't do something about it, we're, I really want you to go look at your children tonight. And and tell and, and then and then come back to my videos and then tell me tell me you don't care about this shit. You wanna fucking ignore shit. Go go act like you're gonna ignore what, what's coming for your children. You have no idea, dude. One day you're gonna turn sixty or seventy, you're not gonna be able to do shit. You see what I mean? And these people are just nothing but attackers. So, I feel like I have the right to be out here doing this because I've been writing on charity for a long time and I see all these offshore accounts. I've been watching money, just what the fuck money? Just doing nothing but sitting there. Nothing for the people. And this is donated money that's supposed to be charity. It is not charity. Just like your media isn't media. Just like your government isn't government. Just like your police aren't police. Like your healthcare isn't fucking healthcare. When it comes down to these actualities of being a targeted individual in this way. Oh, right now P. Diddy is sitting in the lowest security. Or, or, or no, he's not even sitting there. He's out right now. Like they're just planning he, they're just planning to disappear him the same way they did disappear Jeff Ep Epstein. You know these people are fucking free. It's a big controlled fucking narrative and you're not involved. You're not invited into the club of your natural abilities in life. What you could just do in life in general. And the reason that you're not able to do those things is because you're highly sophisticated. And you're just unfamiliar to these people. They don't understand this shit. And they don't want to. They really don't. But how am I supposed to, how am I supposed to move? I'm not proud of the fact that I was almost kidnapped three times. I'm not proud of the fact that my dad's a fucking complete fuck off. I'm not proud of the fact that I had to fight through a lot of shit to, to grow up. I'm not proud of the fact that I legitimately had to fucking become my own security, my own detective, my own police officer, my own fucking doctor, my own every fucking thing to save my own life. And that's exactly what it was. And that's exactly what I've been doing out here. Saving my own fucking skin because these pu these places don't give a fuck about what's going on with me and in furthermore I think that some people know I Think that some people know and I think that they're just they're, they're sitting on their hands the same way the police is about a whole fucking murder over me You got to be fucking kidding me as if that's not World War three type move over my life What just happened to me? Go back and listen to 20, 30 songs of mine and you tell me that I'm not being fucking eradicated out of myself. The point of my lyrics is to suggest that they that these aren't even my words. That, that they're not even me. That, that somehow I have to write in this way so that hopefully people can understand what I'm faced up with. Same way that Tupac was speaking out that... You know, I want like even if I wanted to change the world, maybe I maybe it's not me, but then maybe I can spark the mind of the person that is, and I, that's exactly his his wordage, and so. I want to know, what the answer is, that's what I want to know. 
with everything that I've brought forth and everything that I've put out here as far as what my life has been like, and you see the comments, you see the views, you see what's going on, I'm being throttled, if you ask me, because plainly, maybe my reach isn't isn't that isn't the greatest, but I see I, I see uh, views, and then I'll go back in the next day, and it's like twenty views are missing. How does that happen? I think they're playing around with the numbers on me because they know what I'm saying to be true and they know what I'm up against to be true and that everybody else out here is probably knowing that what I'm up against is true and they just don't want anything to deal with it. But I'm, I'm, I'm assuring you that I really just need help, like physical help and, and help like in figuring out a plan, like with person, with people, you know what I mean? Not just left alone. How How is a person supposed to be left alone in, inside of that way? How can you even feel comfortable with your own self? Leaving a person in that kind of duress. If what they're saying is true. And, and you can think all you want that, that I just need help and it's my brain. You can think all you want that, that that's all that it is. But it's not. It's not at all. What I'm coming out here saying has merit. And I'm being throttled. I'm being stifled. I'm being siphoned from this earth. That's what's happening. And I, I personally, I, my face is different. My, my reactions in, in life are different. My, my everything is tur turned around on me. Like, I'm not me. If I, was, if I was able to be me right now, like left alone, and not had, had all these attacks and targeted abuses happening to me, oh, I think I would be worth millions right now, if not a billion or more. I, 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 ha, I, I have a heart of gold, and the things that I've been working on is, is, it has real power. It has real, actual power from the Lord. Believe it or not, if I was able to get that thing out and, and put it out online and be able to be protected and roll, and roll where I need to go to, to help people, oh yeah, oh yeah, God willing, in that way, what I've been working on for 15 years has absolute power. And the reason I say that is because I'm ordained to it. I'm ordained to it. Meaning that it's been set inside of my belly as such. That just like uh, David against the Goliath. Same thing. Same power. Same belief. Same faith. And if you, if you do grow up that faith to that, to that point. You, you, you have that authority in Jesus Christ's name. And they, they, don't, they don't like it. They don't like it because it's like you have tolerated so much abuse and you're still alive and they can't tolerate it. You've been through so much that they're attacking you with and they're trying to set you up and they got recording gear, everything. Like everything. And you're able to spot it all. Like, you're able to see the stuff in, in action to where they're just trying to push you because they need to. You see what I mean? They need to because they're being found out about. And that's why I'm, that's why I'm saying that I'm, I'm being ordained. Because it's not me. It's a, it's a calling. You see what I mean? It's a calling. Because of things that have been happening to me in my life. And then... People want to poo-poo on me as if I'm crazy. And I don't know what I'm talking about. But I do. And, and if you want to side with that thought process, we'll talk in some years if I'm still around. And we'll see who's right. Because what I'm coming out with and what I'm saying is happening is happening. And people just, people just don't want it so much so. 
they don't want to think that that evil exists that deep that's that's ingrained in inside of our culture inside of our our, our systems and inside of ways that are just so deceiving but that's what these people work on dude like if you go look at what you what you're swearing oaths to to become like a freemason and you can find information on this stuff but look up that that in a nutshell would scare the fuck out of you to think to to not think that what i'm to not think that what i'm saying is true you you dig because it is Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go on this. I just hope that you guys do some actual critical thinking and, and some critical research into these things. Because I might just end up dead. And I hope that just my story alone, I hope that you guys upload all of my work. Like, for yourselves. And, like, make copyright of it. Make copy. Because the stuff is important and it needs to be out there. And even if we aren't able to get to a free press or anybody to hear us because of it being, like I said, it's all being controlled. The media, the government in that way, the people you can go to for help in that way, they just don't exist. And there, there's a real reason behind that. Not existing. For people like me that are being extrapolated or extracted from the world. Anyway, I hope that I hope that you can help me out. Like you. I hope that you can get involved. That's what I hope. Because nobody, nobody should have to go through this much pain. Not, not a single person. And, and you know what the factor of the matter is? Is that there's people out there that need our help. They need our help. And there's a lot of them, you guys. It's not just a few people. It's a lot of people that need our helps. So I, I hope you'll help me. I hope you'll help me. I really want to create this movement and this mission really bad. And I think that it would be so remarkable. I, I think it would, it would honestly get a lot. It would put a lot of people to work. And honestly, I think that that, that work is going to pay you better than what you're being paid currently. I don't know how. I don't know how. I just know why. That's all. Because if you ask the Lord, the Lord will tell you that you deserve better in life than what you're getting. Oh yeah. That's what the Lord will say. If you ask the Lord and you you ask for that discernment of the of the lord's belly to be placed inside of your own that's what you'll feel and you won't i don't i don't think you'll be able to even so much as deny it real talk anyway you guys be good i i miss people i miss connectivity i miss authenticity I miss a true and honorable kind of love that's just missing in our world. And it is. So I hope that you'll help me foster that authenticity back into the world. Because that's what my mission is going to be all about. So anyway, I hope you guys stay good to each other. And stay good to those close to you. And, and love, love hard, love rough, love you guys.